got my titles in the bar. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's lovely to have you here. Thank you for joining me. Now, I'm personally, as someone who loves new features, the idea of a new one coming to Forza Horizon 4 is very exciting. So shall we dive straight into it there? Yeah, let's do it. So let's talk about photo challenges. So this is a new feature that's coming to Series 24. And well, effectively, what are they? They're challenges you have to complete in a photo. For example, taking a picture of a Lamborghini with the lighthouse or a Ferrari with the Uppington White Horse, basically taking your car or and putting them in really cool lo locations and places with landmarks and things of interest, and you've got to take a really cool photo of that. Uh, so you can see here, um, it's, it's on Festival Playlist, there'll be some really cool rewards behind each one, and we'll have a photo challenge each season. Uh, you can see we've put a hashtag here as well, so every photo challenge will be titled with a hashtag, hashtag lights up my Lambo here, for example, um, and there's a, there's a reason behind that. You know, you guys create fantastic photos and put them online, and we, we really want you to share your photo challenges with the community online, with your friends, maybe see who's got the better one, have some, some rivalry between you. But um, that was a real driving force behind this, this feature. You guys take amazing photos, and we want to reward you for that. So um, if we just head back to the previous slide, I'll kind of give you a walkthrough of what it will look like. So you see it on the festival playlist. Here it tells me to take a photo of any Lamborghini with the lighthouse north of Bamba. Next slide. Um, you go into the world, and this is actually one I took earlier. It took me a while to line up this shot with the time of day. Uh, you think you have the right shot, and then you enter photo mode, take the photo, and if you go to the next slide, you can see we've updated the UI to include some objectives behind the photo. Uh, you can see here it contains the Lamborghini, and it contains the UK Lighthouse, so they're both ticked off. Um, and I won myself a super wheel spin and some influence towards my photography thread. Uh, and the, the great thing about these, um, these ticks is they'll kind of validate in real time. So if there's maybe a Lamborghini in shot, but not the Lighthouse, you'll get a, a cross. So it kind of tells you to help guide you get the, the right photo. So yeah, super, super excited to see what you, you as the community can do with these challenges. You're going to be a lot more creative than the photo I've got here. Uh, and we'll be doing them. Don't that is colors, great. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it took me a long clearly, time. Clearly, two different ways so of I, tackling I, it, right? <laughs> yeah. So as Dave demonstrated, your photo doesn't have to be good to get the rewards. That's totally fine. <laughs> but if you think your photo actually is good, then tweet it out at us. Use that hashtag, and then we'll be picking out the very best ones and showing them on next month's show. And I don't know. We'll probably find some small prize to give out as well. Uh, uh, emphasis on the small prize. It won't be anything particularly amazing. But <laughs> well, you will get your name in light on the live stream. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Winnie. So looking forward to see what you lot are going to be doing with that. But that was also a little sneak preview into the upcoming festival playlist update. So let's dive back into it, see what else there is to do. Yes, let's jump straight in. So series completion this time around at 50 percent you're going to get the caddy limo and at 80 percent lamborghini Huracan performante so awesome cars there at summer at 50 percent the koenigsegg agira and at 80 percent the porsche 917 lh so we talked about photo challenges there being one each week uh, you can see this one here hashtag the headline act you need to take a photo of your car in front of the uk horizon festival stage not only that but you're gonna, if you do that, you'll get one of our new exclusive cars as a reward, which is the Zenvo TSRS. Absolutely awesome car, which we'll be talking about later in this stream. Uh, go to the next slide, please. Cool, and so, so loads of awesome cars here, notably the Buick GSX. You'll be able to get that rare car if you do the Summer Games. And there's also a Showcase Remix, Motocross Purposes has come back uh, it's a great fun I want to get stuck into. So next slide, please. Cool, some more hard-to-find cars. We've got the AMC Rebel in the Macho Motoring Season event. We've also got the chance to get the 2008 MC12 Corsa for the Summer in the City Season event. Uh, next slide, please. Cool, looking on to Autumn, at 50%, you're going to get the McLaren 12C, and at 80%, the Rossion Q1. Another photo challenge. Hashtag Hoonigan's Paradise. Take a photo of any Hoonigan car at the Express North Rail Yard. So go and have loads of fun with that one. Um, and yeah, get your teeth stuck into that. It's a good one. Uh, next slide, please. Fantastic. Got some really awesome cars here. But uh, let's go on to the next one. 
And here we have our, another exclusive car that we're adding to Series 24, which is the Ford GT70. Absolutely amazing car with a bit of history behind it. We're actually going to be talking about this in the Forza Monthly stream after this, so make sure you stick around for that um, as it's a really cool car. Also, the chance to win the Porsche Macan Turbo. Uh, again, a rare car uh, if you do the hard at work season event. Next slide, please. Cool. So we have another um, new exclusive car, which is at 50%, and that is the 1977 Ford Escort Mark II. So another really awesome rally car we're adding. At 80%, you're going to get the Ready to Rock Mustang. And the photo challenge, which we briefly talked about uh, just earlier, is to take a photo of any Lamborghini with the Lighthouse North Bamba. Hashtag light up my Lambo. Next slide, please. Cool, so the trial, this one snowed out, will give you a chance to get the Jeep Wrangler Diverti design. And for the Winter Games, you're going to get another really hard to find car, which is the Hummer Open Top. Super fun car. Uh, next one, please. Next slide. And we have more rare cars. We've got Forza Edition, which is the Caterham R500 Forza Edition. We've got the Chevrolet ZR2 with the Chevy to the Levy Season event. And if you want to get a Lamborghini Aventador, make sure you check out the If You Want to Be My Lambo season event. So <laughs> loads of, <laughs> loads of uh, really rare cars. I can't stop laughing at those names. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Matt Monk. He, he's, he's great at the time too. Yeah. Uh, next slide. Great. So for spring, last but not least, we've got the Honda Civic at 50%. And at 80%, we have the Crown Victoria. What's really cool about this car is you can actually attach some police lights to it. So if you see people driving around with police lights because they've got this and they've got an upgrade preset attached to it. So make sure you check that out. Photo challenge is hashtag muddy good time. You've got to take a photo of any extreme off-road car at the Mud Kickers Adventure Park. Again, have a lot of fun with that one. Uh, next slide, please. Got another hard to find car. This is the Ferrari 488 Pista, and you'll be getting that by doing the trial and error trial. And um, we've also got a showcase remix uh, contest of giants. <clears throat> John Cooper Works Mini as well for Spring Games, another really awesome car that's hard to find, so make sure you check that out. Next slide, please. And here we have another new exclusive car. It is the 1985 Mazda RX-7, the one that started it all. Really, really awesome car. You can get that by doing the Midnight mazda season event. Uh, we've also got the Plymouth Fury, uh, last but not least, in the Hand of Rod season event. And, uh, yeah, so that brings our festival playlist. Loads, loads of new cars. Um, yeah, super cool. Lots of new cars, Spoiled. lots Spoiled of cars. ridiculous names. Spoiled with new cars. <laughs> You guys, but there's a lot yeah, of like right. the slanty and the leaning, and yeah, I want to see yeah. a little bit more about that boy, bad boy, can we? Yeah, yeah. So this is it. This is the, the Zenvo TSRS. Um, so it's made by Zenvo, who are a Danish automaker. They're not a huge car brand. They don't make a lot of cars, but this is one that they've uh, fairly recently released. Uh, it is kind of a track car, but it's also road legal. Um, it's a great car, not 60 in 2.8 seconds, over 200 miles an hour, but none of that matters because the cool thing about this car is that wing on the back. It's a <laughs> centripetal wing, I believe they call it. Um, and as you can see, as you're turning the car, it moves itself a bit like an aerodynamic roll bar to give you greater grip on whichever side of your car needs it as you're taking corners. So as much as we say over 200 mile an hour in a straight line, that doesn't matter at all because that's not cool. That's not what's cool. What's cool about this car is that it can maintain that speed as it's going through corners. Um, the capture now jumps inside where we can see it has a steering wheel, it has a dashboard, <laughs> you know, inside car stuff. All of that's really interesting though because it's all about that wing. Yeah, what I actually love about the wing, and as you said, an aerodynamic anti-roll bar, but this car is street legal. So the, 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 word, the, the words aerodynamic anti-roll bar and street legal just it blows my mind that this is even street legal. It's it's incredible. And you'll be able to get this uh, as we said previously by doing our photo challenge in summer. It's our new feature. If you complete the hashtag the headline act photo challenge, and that'll be yours to keep. So it's an absolute steal. Pretty easy uh, way to get the car, to be honest. A, a real giveaway. Um, yeah, it's a. Uh... I think it's over like 1,100 horsepower as well. So again, why is it street legal? Why have they done this? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
congratulations. I'd love to rock up. <laughs> yeah. Imagine rocking up to work in this. That'd be awesome. Cool. Shall we move on to the next car then? I was going to see how it how it moved while while it drifted. All right, Dave, what's this? <laughs> cool. So this is the Ford Escort Mark II from 1977. This has got 250 brake horsepower, an inline four engine, and it was built to Group Four specification. But most notably, this was driven by Bjorn Wedelgaard, who was the first WRC champion. So it's got a lot of history um, for the people, the guy who drove it. But there's a reason for that. It's because it was an absolute powerhouse. So this won several rallies in the 70s, including the Lombard RAC rally in 1977 and the Acropolis rally in 1979. But the thing is, it, it remains one of the most successful rally cars ever, and so much that they're still being used today. So it really speaks to how well these cars can handle uh, sort of rugged terrain. It's absolutely awesome. Um, and the sound of this so engine as well is really iconic. So what is that, Mike? Dave, so it's, still, it's still being used today in competitive racing. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's it sort of speaks to how great the car's been, how how, the, how great the car is. Yeah. yeah, the car is a lot older than me, and uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, very very cool. Uh, so you'll be able to get your hands on this car um, by doing fifty percent in winter for festival playlist. So make sure you uh, you log in and get this car. It's an awesome one. It's funny, actually, this car, um, we, we'll talk about the GT70 in, in the Forza Monthly stream, but they're kind of connected. This kind of took over and became Ford's sort of powerhouse, um, whereas the GT70 was kind of left behind. But they're both coming in Series 24, so you guys try them out for yourself and see if you, you agree or not. Should we move on to the next car? Awesome. So this is the 1985 Mazda RX-7. The original, the first generation of RX-77, RX-7, which is a, you know, as we all agree, is a super iconic car for Mazda. Um, like all RX-7s, this has got a rotary engine, and that's totally different to a piston one. So instead of, uh, instead it uses spinning triangular rotors, which results in a really smooth but high revving engine, so it's quite loud. Um, but yeah, totally awesome car. Absolutely drinks petrol as well. So as, as much. <laughs> As much, as much fun as it might be to drive and how, how quickly it gets up to those high revs, it also will empty your fuel tank in about, in about three miles. So not the most but economical you cool car. Doing it. You will, you'll, you'll definitely feel cool doing it. I think all rotary engines <laughs> feel amazing to drive because they hit such high revs so quickly. Um, it's got, I mean, fairly small engine as well, as is typical for the rotary engine. Is this a 1.3 or 1.2? 1.2, um, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's... It sounds like it's got a really small engine, um, but because of that rotary camshaft, it, it just puts out way more power than you'd expect. Yeah, I mean it's 985, so it's not it's not gonna, it's not a 200 mile an hour supercar. I think you get about 120, um, and like an eight second not to 60, but pretty good for a um, mid priced sports car. Definitely, and you can get this yeah, from completing the. The appropriately named Midtown Mazdaness Championship in spring. Yeah, it really is a kind of a, a bit of a style icon as well, isn't it? It's got that like all, all glass back, like really, really like clear wraparound glass to the rear, and then just that really great shape, which kind of kind of stuck that silhouette or through the entire Mazda RX-7 line, even through to like late nineties. Yeah, it's a good point. I absolutely love it. That like just a map. Yeah, it just looks awesome. It's looks absolutely. Fantastic. So they, they are, that is three of the four cars we are adding for Series 24. Obviously, the GT70 is going to be talked about in the Forza Monthly. In fact, uh, Mike, I'm actually getting quite hot. I just wanted to um, 